What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are we are off the shits. I'm being a responsible YouTuber and I'm cleaning up after myself. Finishing up the series that have been laying dormant on my channel for ages. By ages I mean like a few months. But in YouTube time, still a few months. But it feels a lot longer, especially with a pandemic. Recently we finished Dream Date with Burnt Rivera, which felt great to get the fuck done. So I thought I would continue being good and finish Attaway General, which still has a little bit more to go, like seven episodes more. So I'm gonna try to condense at least three or four episodes into each one of these videos. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Maybe there will be so much to talk about I will have to just only do one episode per video. We'll see. That was not the case. I did too. And hell, maybe this whole trend of me finishing up series will lead to the epic finale that is Darman 4 the final chapter. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I want to make sure it's good. I'm not rushing it. Anyways, let's get into episode two of Attaway General. David and Goliath. Whatever that'll end up meaning for Attaway General. I don't know. I did not sign up for a volunteer janitor program. No offense. I mean, you signed up to be a volunteer. I feel like a lot of volunteers clean shit. That's kind of like a big part of the gig. Busboy, why are you back here? Just waiting to get my stitches removed. Mind if I take a look? Mind if I take a look? I'd really like to be a doctor someday, but for now I'm just a volunteer janitor. Sutures look like they healed nicely. Shouldn't have too much of a scar. I would have used absorbable sutures myself, but then they couldn't bill you twice. The strangest teenager I've ever met. Now you see what they've done here. You see, she's only a volunteer, just mopping floors. But she's actually really smart. Smarter than some of the doctors. You can't write that stuff, folks, except for when you can. Then you, then they do. You're cute, but strange. I don't know if I made this joke before, it's been so long since I talked about the first episode. I'm glad they all wear name tags, because just like the problem with Dream Date with Burnt Rivera, I forget everyone's fucking names. So it's nice having a constant reminder of who's who. Is that why you're sweating? I don't feel so hot, if I'm being honest. Make sure you wash your hands. Hospitals can be a petri dish. And apply scar gel daily. None of that all natural stuff. Why is that a response at all? I don't feel so good. You should wash your hands. That'll probably help. I gotta go. I wonder how many takes, if more than one at all, it took for them to get that shot of him fainting. At first, I thought that he was actually just dropping his thing on the ground so that she would have to come back and clean it up and talk to him. But no, I guess he just sweat fainted. We have two new patients today. Davey and Grayson. Kit, Georgia, you're on room two. Jack, Rosie, you're on room four. I have places to be. Am I clear? You're clear. clear. Good. Why she talked down to them so much? I know I touched on this before, but like, Jesus Christ, lady. I know these guys are teenagers. I'm assuming they're like 18, 19 teenagers. But you can treat them with a little respect. They haven't proven to be like shitbags at all. Like they have their their little their little quirks, but they're not bad kid. They're just fucking there to volunteer and do their job. Nurse Sandy told me to be careful. One of the boys bullied the other, and it's pretty dangerous. Oh, bullies are scary. He got arrested, so he's not scared of anything, so we're, the script says. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, that's the wine, isn't it? Okay, good. Ooh, that's Dr. Henry Sergio protege. I would love to pick his brain. I'll catch up with you. We meet again. Must be fate, or a small hospital. Or a bad script. It's probably the last one. Where are you headed? I was on my way to the supply room for supplies. That's funny. So was I. <laughs> I hope they have condoms in there. I didn't know you were Dr. Henry's protege. What a nerd. Nerd or stud? Mm, nerd. Smart as the new sexy. I read that somewhere. Oh, you read too? I'm impressed. I read lots of things. Novels, magazines, instruction manuals. Later, teacher's pet. Oh, oh, oh man, she's playing hard to get. And, uh... 
This one's a lot harder to watch than the first one. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you're hurting. How about an ice pack for that eye? No, nah, I'm good. Can I get you some pudding? Juice? Just juice. Just juice, please. Uh... <laughs> Damn, all right. So it looks like we've got these two guys who uh, got into a fight, one bullied the other. They're in separate rooms, and they're being tended to. Hijinks and Sue. Tensions are rising as juvie volunteer boy that we don't know what he did because you never ask the crime when you're volunteering at a hospital with another criminal. You know, the usual protocol. He's getting a little, he's getting a little agitated because he doesn't like being pushed around because he's rough. He got arrested. You know, I've never been in a fight. Maybe you can give me some pointers. Right hook, left jab, maybe an uppercut even. On behalf of the patient, can you please stop jibber jabbering? Who says jibber jabbering? My mom used to, if you must know. But she's not around anymore. I don't know if that's the case. It sounds like that's what they're getting at. Okay, now you are definitely staring. Uh, I forgot I told Nina I needed to get something from the shed. I'll be right back. I'm starting to get some uh, some flashbacks from when I watched this on stream because I did watch a few of these on stream and I'm starting to remember some of the uh, the twists and I think me just bringing this up right now probably gives you guys a little bit of an idea but uh, we'll see soon. Davy Jacobs, 5'10", 200 pounds. So was that your plan to lose a few? Start a fight and hope he punches back right in the jaw. <laughs> you look fit though. I'm sure that's not why you started it. <laughs> Damn, she was going in on him for no reason at all. She really doesn't know how to fucking talk to people. Holden? What's going on? Get back. I'd still be on the lacrosse team. I should have hit you harder. Hey, enough! What is it with you kids? You can't follow the simplest instructions. He said he needed the restroom. And I was only gone for a minute. You're supposed to protect your patient kid, not abandon him. Why does he need protecting? Because Davey's not the bully. And my guy's the bully. Snitch on me again and I will break your jaw a second time. You do that and you have to deal with me. Right. I hate how like the smallest fucking scrawniest person on this show with the voice that breaks is like the tough criminal guy. <laughs> but yeah, that's the twist I was talking about. I didn't see it, but now as I'm watching it, I'm like, you're pick you pick up subtle cues because this is, this is, this is, this is like intelligent writing where, you know, okay. If you guys don't know, I'm a bit of a scholar of cinema. Uh, I've seen all MCU movies. There's subtle hints showing that one is the bully and one is not, and it's not what you think. Whether it be the big guy not saying anything mean at all, and the little guy saying a lot of mean stuff throughout the whole episode. I wouldn't understand all of you to get that because it's just like a thing like I'm able to do. When I see something so cleverly written as Adway General, it's just like, it's, it's like music. Hmm. I'm really annoyed that I said all of that. Excuse me, Nurse Sandy. Can you tell me what happened to Holden? No updates, kid. Holden has a severe heart condition. Sorry, kid, I can't violate HIPAA for you. All right, I understand, but maybe this melted Hershey's bar will change your mind. Lucky he was at the hospital. Is he gonna be okay? It's not a good prognosis, but he's at Attaway General getting the best care there is. Uh, I don't know about that one. We'll take that with a grain of salt. Hey, I've been looking for you. Here I am. You know, I was a TV too. All four years of high school. So? So, I didn't want to be here either. Yeah, but you've never killed a man. Holy shit, is that what you did? No, I actually just had some fucking weed on me, but but you pro I bet you still actually haven't killed anyone. That's, that's right though, huh? Ready? Yeah. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Of course, you know me, Dad. Good. Oh, hey, your mom texted she's not gonna be able to see you next weekend. Joel, come on. I don't have all day. Coming. Oh, I guess her mom isn't dead. All right, maybe I misread that one, but she obviously still has some issues, so we need to let her work that out in the most moody way possible. Looks like we're doing good on time. Let's squeeze a second one in. This is Attaway General, episode three, Glioblastoma. Molly, this is Kit and Rosie. They're gonna be your chaperones today. Oh, actually, I was hoping to be assigned to Holden's case, but you're assigned to Molly. Say hi to Molly. Right off the bat, 
Damn. Hi, Molly. Um, stay here. I'll be right back. So, who's holding? None of your business. He's a cute boy she has a crush on. Do not. Do, too. Do not. Come on. You mentioned his name a dozen times. Molly! This dialogue is so bad, it literally fucking flatlined her. <laughs> no pulse. I'll start CPR. Rosie, straighten the gurney. Need a flat surface. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rosie, what are you doing? Go get help. 11, 12, 13, 14. Turns out she actually just crushed that girl's rib cage and just killed her right on the spot. So, can I have some friends over tonight, Dad? No. Why? You're not gonna be home and I have nothing to do. I've seen your report card. There's clearly some studying you could do. On a Friday night? Georgia, you need to take your education more seriously. I gotta go. Another great talk, Dad. Why is it that every time I try to have a deep conversation with you when you're on the clock at this important hospital job, you always have to go tend to some medical emergency? Start sailing. 250 IV push. Start rescue breaths. Kit. Good job. The first five minutes are the most critical. Thank you. You know, by the way, did you actually want to have some friends over tonight? I'll talk to you later. I don't know, what is, what could that mean? I know because I actually saw this episode. I remember these episodes a little bit more than I remember the fucking Dream Date with Burnt Rivera episodes. This is coming back to me. This is starting to all come back to me. I know it's not an ocean view, but it beats the ICU. I'm gonna go have a chat with your parents, but Jack will be here to keep you company. Let me know if you guys need anything. Oh yay, fucking Jack. Thanks. So, I'm supposed to offer you pudding or juice or whatever? Want some? No. Mind if I watch TV? I'm just waiting for him to like pull out a switchblade and just start fiddling it around like some fucking greaser or some shit. I don't know why. That wouldn't be too far off from like the super cliche, I got arrested vibe that they're trying to push on us. I think actually at this point, I'm pushing it more than the show is. The show seems to have kind of toned him down a little bit since the first episode. Do you mind? Look, I know what's going on between you and Will. He picks a new one every year. New one? Girl, like fresh meat. It's nothing like that. You should probably walk away before you get your heart broken. Thanks for the tip. Bitter much? Well, both of them handled that in the rudest way possible, so. Off to a good start there. Both of them could have approached that in much better ways, like saying something like, hey, I know that you and Will have been kind of messing around. I just be kind of careful. He he does this a lot. I don't want to see you get your feelings hurt. Oh, wow. I don't really think that's what's going on, but uh, I will take it into consideration and I will, I will keep my eye out. Thanks for the heads up. But that's not interesting. What's interesting is her putting salt in coffee and wasting coffee. That's funny. Wow. Glioblastoma is rare. It accounts for less than 3% of pediatric cancer cases. I don't think she wants to hear about that right now. Yeah, <laughs> really. I don't mind. This is my doctor. I'm used to it. Still, that's not our job. We're not doctors. And never will be with that attitude. You're not even supposed to look at the charts. She doesn't mind, do you? Knock yourself out. You know it'd be a fun drinking game for this show? Every time they do a HIPAA violation, you drink. Uh, are you okay? Do you need me to get someone? A doctor? I'm fine. Sorry. Should I get your parents? No. I don't want to talk to anyone. Just need a moment to be upset, okay? I get that. Oh, having a hole in your heart's pretty relatable, huh? Nope. But I know what it's like to pretend to be okay when you're really not. Damn, that was a real tender moment. Really makes you forget that you're watching a terrible reality show with TikTok stars as the actors. Later. I want you to Hi, Mom. Kit, do you mind stepping outside? I need to speak with Molly and her mom. Oh, Rosie, no, not you. You're fine. You can stay. Just Kit. Are you kidding? Excuse me? Sorry. Dr. Henry, can I speak with you for a moment? I saved her life. 
and I've been studying up on her cancer. All Rosie did was some arts and crafts. I should stay. Kit, this is extremely inappropriate. I need you to leave. Oh shit, how the turntables. Honestly, I was pretty confused about this. This just seemed like off character, but then I found out why. Oh, is that a fresh pot? Yeah. You want to swoop in and take it for yourself, like you do with everything else? What? Oh, please. All you do is suck up to the doctors and nurses here and act like an angel. I know your game. I have no game. I'm just here to give back. There you go again. Always with the perfect answer, ready to go. No, Drop I... Drop the act. What did you do to get to stay with Molly? Be Dr. Henry's pet? I am not his pet. I am his former patient. Patient? Yeah, I have the same form of brain cancer as Molly. I'm Dr. Henry's poster child. That's why he asked me to stay. Boom. Makes sense. Uh, Dr. Henry probably could have maybe, like, mentioned something instead of just kind of out of nowhere, making it look like he was just picking favorites. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a fucking doctor. I'm gonna be with you the whole time, okay? I'll walk you through everything that's going on in there. Hey, you're gonna do great, kiddo. Yeah? She's got this one. Georgia, wait. Do you want to go talk in the shed? Go ask Maeve, or that other girl. This is the episode of people being completely off character and all over the fucking place, I guess. No great taco truck across the street. Any takers? Mm, come on, you got other plans? Actually, no. I guess I have to eat. I guess now this lady is starting to open up to the kids and now she's a nice person. What a fucking relief, because that was annoying to watch her just be unnecessarily mean to these people. You okay? You've been awfully quiet. All I've ever wanted is to be a doctor, but maybe I'm not good enough. What's she talking about? You're the brainiest teenager I've ever met. You're really good at this. I'm not. You're like 17 or 18 or so. You're fucking young. And you're already a fucking protege or some shit. So like, what do you have to worry about? And you were just told that the reason you were excluded from that one thing that kind of doubted you as a doctor, she just had a relatable condition. That's it. So wh why are you having second thoughts about this now? I completely messed up with Rosie earlier and I almost killed you yesterday. <laughs> what do you mean? I should have known something was wrong with you. I have a heart defect. You can't tell that from looking at me. Well, maybe now you can. Thanks. For what? For making me laugh. Today has been really bad. Wait, so what's the prognosis? I guess I need some major heart surgery. Like, scary major. Not gonna lie, gonna give credit where credit is due. That was actually pr pretty decent, like, acting and line delivery. Not, like, amazing, but, like, for these guys just being TikTok stars and the rest of the show being kind of... Meh. They actually did a good job delivering all of those lines. That's a lot of lines to remember for someone who's just not an actor. I'm not an actor. Anytime I've ever done any kind of sketch, though, I... It's the fucking hardest thing in the world is to remember as many lines as they just did, so I give them props for that. Rest of the show, I don't... I don't know about that, but, but yeah, what a heartfelt episode. I'm gonna leave it off at two. Maybe I'll just do two episodes of video. I think that's good because there's a lot of... A lot of meat in these videos. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy episode two of TikTok Hospital. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like rating down below. It lets me know you enjoy the videos and it helps them out a ton. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or opinions, really anything at all, leave them in the comments down below. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my uploads. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>